In this video, we are going to create invitation emails for our organization. So when we click here, invite org to organization, we are going to send an actual invitation email. Here it is. So now I can just use this link from here. And now if I paste it in as the invited user, we are going to see here inside of our organization, if I refresh, that org is now part of my organization. This video is part of the Better Auth Starter series and tell me which feature would you like to see next. I'm basically listening to you guys. And now let's start building this thing. What we have here currently is this dashboard where we have all the organizations that our current user belongs to. So if we click to any of these organizations, we can see all other users that are not actually in this organization. So what we want to do is to turn this add org to organization button to actually invite org to organization. So he needs to receive an actual email and to be added to our organization right here. To do that, we are going to the better auth documentation. Here we are clicking docs, then inside the plugins, we are going to the organization plugin. And here in the right sidebar, we are going to the invitations feature. So we are going to use this one to implement our organization invitations. And first thing we need to do is to set up our invitation email. So we need to copy and paste this send invitation email function inside of our organization plugin. So that one is easy. We're just going to our auth.ts and we need to find our plugins. Here they are, organization. We are going to paste in this send invitation email function. And now instead of this send organization invitation, we need to create our actual email templates. So I'm going to take all these props so we can copy paste them to our AI. And we are going to use again new.email tool for creation of nice looking emails. And here we're going to say create an email for organization invitation. And here are the props. So I'm going to paste in the props from our function right there. And now AI is going to create us a nice looking email for this invitation email. And there it is. This one looks good enough. So we're going to use this one. I'm going to copy and paste this entire code. We're going to our email. So here we have verify email and reset password. We are going to create a new one, organization invitation.tsx and I'm going to paste in the whole thing. So we're going to remove this preview data here and for our props we need to create a nice interface which we are going to use here and we shouldn't have any errors. That's it. So everything should work properly. We just need to fix this invite link right here and also here to use resend to send everything to our new organization invitation email like this. Nice. Let's see what's missing here. We need to fix a little bit of syntax. There it is. So now we are sending as our email sender name. This one is from our configuration to the email which we are sending here. And this is our subject. It's okay for now. And we have our organization invitation email, so it should work. Now we have to fix this invite link. And there are multiple ways how we can solve this invite link. Basically, what is it going to do? All the users that accept the invitation are going to come to this link and there we can do a bunch of logic. So for example, I had a question, if user doesn't have an account and we can call some email that is not even in our app, we could here potentially create our user. So that's why I'm going to create a completely separated API route here inside of our app API. We can create here a new folder and we're going to call it accept invitation. And if we check the documentation right here in the better auth, we can see that when we are sending the invitation, we need to create that link ourselves. So it is here. You'll need to construct and send the invitation link to the user. So the link should include the invitation ID. That is really an important piece of information and which will be used with the accept invitation function when the user clicks on it. So we need to put 
this invitation ID as a slug inside of our API route. So here, invitation ID, and then we are going to create our route.ts. So here we can now just export this one and we need to accept our invitation. For that, we can go to the accept invitation function and we are going to choose here the server side. So we are going to paste this one inside of function right here. So I'm pasting it in, accept invitation. We are calling the auth from our lib auth, which is basically our better auth. And here we are just sending this invitation ID to our API. And we can now just console log here the data that we receive and we can remove this next response. We're not going to return any response. We are just going to redirect in case that invitation was successful. So now we need to actually send our invitation. So for that, we are going to this component right here. And instead of add org, we are just going to turn it to invite org. So this one is on our slug page. I'm just typing in slug. Here it is. Then we have all users. So here we have the organization ID. We have the users with the user interface. So here we have the email name and everything that we need. So we can just turn this add member into the handle invite member like this. And then here we are going to just rename it. And we again go to the documentation. We need to find invite. Here it is. So we are doing it now the client side. I'm going to copy this code from here and I'm going to add it inside of our handle invite member. I'm going to remove this add member function. We are adding auth client and now we need email. So that one we have it user.email. So we are putting in the user from our user right here. So I'm going to send the whole user. We just need to change the type. So this one is going to be user. And now we put in the role member organization ID. We have that one resend. We are not going to use recent because that one is in case we want to resend this invitation if it is already sent. So we are going to remove this part and now we can just put in if error that we put in the toast error and everything and we can just remove this data. We're not going to use it. And here change text instead of added, just invited. So now we can actually try it out. Let's get back to our app and here we're going to click invite or to organization. And we have an issue, so let's inspect here and go to the console to see what's going on. So you're not allowed to invite users to this organization. We don't have permissions for this. And this is really an interesting issue that we have. So if we go to our permissions, so lib auth, we can see here that everything looks okay. But what we need to do is from the better auth documentation, if we go here to our access control and we go to our permissions, so we did all this stuff in the previous video, but what we actually need are these default statements and also this admin account. So we are going to add this part inside of our permissions file and we are going to add it here in the statements, default statements, and also for our owner. So here, we need all those default statements in order for this one to work. So let's try it out now. Now, if we invite, let's see if it's going to work. Invite org to organization. And there it is, invitation sent to members. So now I should receive here the invitation email. And here it is. It's looking really nice, exactly how we made it. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So we have the accept invitation button, but this link is not leading us where it should. So we need to change that. So here inside of our auth.ts, we need to turn this invite link into something that we created and that's that API route. So here we are going to put the next public URL and then 
Let's see what's the name actually of our route. So it's accept invitation and then the invitation ID. So it should be good like this, except we need to add just API. So now we should actually shoot our actual API route. And let's go there to our accept invitation. And here we are just going to say redirect and we can just lead maybe better to dashboard like this. So we are going to import redirect from next navigation, delete this console log, and actually no, let's leave this console log so we can see what we have. In case of some error, we can just put in here, try and catch. So like this, here we're going to put redirect and here console log error, or we can simply just throw some error also like this. Awesome. So let's now try it out. We need to invite again our org user. So inviting you here, I'm going to delete this thingy. Fail to invite member. Okay, so that user is already invited to this organization. Okay, so let's first just put normal messages here. All users, so handle invite member. We are going to put toast message to be actually our error dot message like this, so we can see here normal message what is actually happening. So this message really looks good. That's a good thing with better auth. They're creating really nice messages for our users. Let's delete now the invitation from our database. So I'm going to the tables invitation. And here it is, we have this invitation. I'm just going to delete this one so we can send a new one. And now we can invite org to organization invitation sent to our members. So I can click now on that link that we have. Here it is. I have the new email. I'm going to just copy this path right here. I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to bring in now another window where I'm logged in as that other org user. And we are going to paste in that link. So here it is, accept invitation. And let's see what kind of errors we have. So first error is that we are unauthorized to do this. So that means that inside of our API route, the application doesn't see if we are logged in or not. And the other one is that we need to send back a next response. That is my bad. So let's fix all those things. I'm going to the route, accept invitation. So instead of redirect, we are going to say, return next response dot redirect and i'm going to import that one from next server and also here we are going to do exactly the same thing so in case that we have an error we are just going to redirect to our dashboard so we are presuming that here our user is logged in and that's the problem here why we are getting that error from better auth so we need to send here our headers there it is ai already knows it and we are going to import it from next headers so now that one should work let's see if it is working or not, we are going to that second user. I'm going to click enter here again for our invitation and let's see if it is working or not. So we are in and we can see that we are part of my organization, but let's check it inside of our database just in case. So invitations, I'm refreshing this one and we can see the new invitation and status is accepted. So this one is working and if we go to members, we can see that, let's say, here it is, the 31st of July, that's today, we accepted this user and he is a member of the My Organization organization. So we successfully accepted the invitation and that part is working. Awesome. And if we get back now to our app and here we can see that only org dev is part of the organization. So if I refresh the screen, we are going to get also org here. So the entire feature is working and we can now send invitations to every user from this list. So next feature that we can work on, we could put here an input where we can send invitation to users that don't exist in our database. So when we click invite, 
we can first create user account inside of our DB. We can check if that user already exists. And after that, send the invitation to that user. So then user can click the invitation, log in inside of the app and get accepted to the organization and be part of this page right here.